Oh, Betty, are you ready? We're, we're just more famous again. Read it to me, Sadie. Okay. Well, here's the headline. Local gays plan rally against televangelist Ooh. prayer army. 10,000 warriors want to save San Francisco. Okay, John J. O'Connor or whatever his name is. You gotta love this town. Where else but the city would a Texas evangelist at the head of a 10,000 strong prayer army square off against the likes of Scarlet Harlot and Sadie Sadie, the rabbi lady. The Harlot, Sadie, and a growing number of residents, as many as 3,000 at last count, are expected to mass outside the Civic Auditorium Wednesday <laughs> in a colorful answer to preacher Larry Lee's call to cast out the demons he claims have transformed the city into a Sodom and Gomorrah by the bay. Quote, I mean, what's with these televangelists, said Carol Lee, a.k.a. the Scarlet <laughs> Harlot. Yay. Lee and San Jose Minister Richard Burnell, pastor of the Jubilee Christian Center, said they chose to liberate the city from itself after hearing of the spiritual vacuum that existed here. What, they went to Sears? Anyway, there are 700,000 people in San Francisco and every one of them needs God, Burnell said Tuesday. <laughs> Well, they've called off a potentially confrontational parade through some of what uh, uh, through some of what they regard as the city's more sinful districts. Lee and Bernal say plans for their three-day prayer fest will get underway as scheduled at 7:14 p.m., a time chosen for a biblical reference promising deliverance from wickedness. Hey, why don't we show up at 6:66? Yeah, uh -huh. uh, prayer warriors from as far away as New York and Seattle are converging on the city to help deliver it from evil. Quote, I think it's terrible to live in a city where it's easier to get a condom than it is to get a Bible, Lee told the Wall Street Journal before jetting off to Detroit to battle with the demons responsible for devil's night vandalism there. The 39-year-old TV preacher's tirades against sinners has angered a diverse cross-section that includes gay people, pagans, prostitutes, and pro-choice factions. Uh, while his prayer breakthroughs have attracted large crowds in cities he felt were afflicted by life without God and Christian values, many San Franciscans feel his claims of religious turpitude here are a mere cover for his anti-gay, pro-right sentiments. He, Lee, should know the people here are extremely angry and are not going to sit by. Well, he parades into town to pass judgment, said Mark Pritchard, spokesman for an ad hoc group called Ghost, grand homosexual outrage at sickening televangelists. In protest of Lee's visit and what many regard as a wave of fundamentalism sweeping the nation, representatives of groups singled out for damnation plan to launch a nonviolent counter demonstration across the street from the auditorium when things get underway. Quote, we can't let this happen without some form of protest, said Lee slash Harlot. He's criticizing gay people and saying that San Francisco is perverse. We know it is, but we like it that way. increased with goods and have need of nothing. And no I know thy works, and thou art neither cold nor hot. I would that thou wert cold or hot, so then because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew you thee out of my mouth. What's my name? Our site. Oh, well, you know, you know, you know, people think they know all the words are, but in actual fact, those of us know. that talk to them, we understand fully. It's all right. We forgive you. I know. We understand you brought some negative energies here this evening. And the one way that you are His able to try to convince people so much is by never being quiet and allowing other people to say anything, just like Jerry Falwell does on television all the time, where he never has a period at the end of his sentence. Oh, Falwell. we know him very well, and all the rest of them. You've heard them, haven't you, darling? Of course you have. We've heard it forever and ever. And you know we're continuing to have a wonderful time anyway. Are and you? Smiles on our are faces you really happy? And love in our hearts. Well, and good for you. All man. you have to do is okay. hear that it's there. But you know what? We know. Yes, I do. As a matter of fact, I do know what. And I've been I telling you what, darling. Listen for a while. Society and we is completely because with all the love in our heart, <laughs> oh. there's no way that there's any room for any negativity because it's filled with wonderment. You know, life is beautiful. And if you can give that message to your children who you brought here today, they'll learn a lot. I bet you they're learning so much just by being here and not listening to only your words, by hearing all the words, that they'll have a wonderful life. Don't ask me these sick-ass questions. Either. See, it's a sick old question, isn't it? Oh,
Is so? So. Is that is that something to stand up for? It's a nice touch you have. Well, yeah, for me it is. And for you, maybe it, it wouldn't be all that silly. No, see, I, I've had ladies like you before in my life, okay? You used to. Actually, There's nothing there. You know, I'll tell you where the real love is. It's when you make a commitment and you get married to a woman. Is that a proposal? No, I'm already married, ma'am. Or what's the camera bit, man? You know, I thought you, you know, you want to know about Jesus, or you want to just put us down, man? You call us all bigots? We're not all bigots. Well, wait, I'm a filmmaker. I'm, I'm, you know, interacting with you. And well, what, I have a TV what's show all this stuff? Francisco. What's all this, man? We don't walk around, you yes, know, God, you know. It's just. Where are you from? I'm from the mountains. Are you? Yes. You can tell. Oh, you can tell. Oh, I'm, all right. I'm Where artist. are you guys from, man? Yeah? I'm an artist. I'm from San Francisco. Yeah. About 15 years. I'm a filmmaker. Yeah, I, I just, you know, I just get real angry when, when I, when I hear about this. That more than anything in the world, you know what makes me really angry is just this gay thing, man. It just really gets to me. Can you understand that? I hear a lot of people say that. Ah, it just, it just, it, it just doesn't seem natural, you know. I mean, my friends are mostly gay, and you know, I love them, and they're wonderful people. And you know what? I care about a lot of people. I've, I know some gay people too, and I care about them, man. Yeah, but it's it's not the people; it's the it's the act, man. And it doesn't seem right, you know. Well, we're not protesting. We're having a great time. It's Halloween. People are partying all over the city, and we're he particularly here tonight because some folks have come to town basically shouting fire in a crowded theater. But it's okay because we brought the extinguishers. It's a public service. Hey, let's go. That these people here are going to be in a lot of trouble. They don't know what they're doing. They're praying for us. They should pray for themselves. Because if they go to the Castro, they'll need prayer. That's all I got to say. Be gone, bigots. Be gone. Bigots, be gone. Be gone, bigots. 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 Be gone. Do everything. 